September 2017. The passing of Baton Rouge hip-hop rising star Garrett Burton, also known as the real G-Money, would pour gasoline on an already brewing beef between what authorities label rival gang sets. Baton Rouge police are looking into a deadly shooting that claimed the life of a local rapper. Police say someone shot and killed 22-year-old Garrett Burton on Dallas Street around 1.20 last night. The feud was between a group of individuals under the name TBG, also known as Top Boy Gorillas, and the NBA camp, also known as Never Broke Again. G Money's demise, in particular, was heavily speculated to have revolved around one particular NBA member in question, the head and leader, NBA Young Boy. With G Money's passing, it brought the spotlight on friends and affiliates of his, namely Frito Bang and Boulevard Quick, both of whom held a close brotherhood with the fallen star. This was the unset to the path that would take Boulevard Quick to death's door. Baton Rouge has slowly been in the spotlight for the increase in shootings over the years. And with the inclusion of Boulevard Quick's alleged following actions, it only added to the negative stigma of crime in the city. Baton Rouge police are investigating a shooting. Now, that another shooting happened on a roulette avenue. East Baton Rouge Paris saw one. Boulevard Quick was rumored to have a hand in the retaliation homicide of NBA Youngboy's manager at the time, known as Dump. Friday, May 4th, 2018, just before 6 p.m., 29-year-old Desmond Harnett, a.k.a. Dump, was chatting with family and friends on Naren Street when someone pulled up in the vehicle and fired several shots, killing him. Reports state that witnesses would look on as Dump fell to the ground outside his uncle's house, next door to his childhood home. Paramedics still tried to resuscitate Dump, but it was too late. Else tonight on yesterday's double shooting on Naren Drive, Baton Rouge police say 29-year-old Desmond Hardinat died last night from his injuries. Police say Hardinat and a 32-year-old woman were both shot during a drive-by shooting yesterday afternoon. That happened near the corner of Naren and Baywell. Officers confirmed that shots were fired from a passing vehicle that sped off from the scene after accomplishing their goal with Boulevard Quick being rumored to be in the vehicle from which the shots were fired, it placed an even bigger target on his back for his enemies. Dump's demise would continue the bloodshed in the wake of G-Money's assassination. This action of revenge, allegedly taken by Boulevard Quick, pushed up the timeline where his life would be placed in jeopardy. NBA young boy, having held a close relationship to Dump, was heartbroken over the cruelty of his rivals and often shared his pain via his music. Rest in peace to my nigga, big dump, I miss you, I just wish I was there. Beat off the pain and f the game, it ain't the same since you left. Boulevard Quick was on the radar, but his actions continued to become more and more brazen and disrespectful to the NBA camp, and that continued to shorten his lifespan unknowingly. In August 2018, about three months before his demise, he released the music video for his song, Never Lacking. At the end of the song, he sent some threatening words to NBA Youngboy. I don't have my hand money, nigga, because I ain't got that much, nigga. So I'm in the field, nigga. You niggas can't be, you nigga, money must be counterfeit. You drop the bag while I'm still breathing. I got breath in my body. Not holding back anything that was on his chest, Boulevard Quick even mentioned a failed attempt on his life stating that they placed a bounty on his head, but he's still alive and breathing and welcomed his assailants to stop hiding behind money and show themselves in person. Boulevard Quick wasn't finished with coming at the NBA camp. November 2018, just about three weeks before his life was taken, he would take his disrespect a little too far. After NBA Youngboy's mother let her thoughts be known about those who have a problem with her son, in her live video, she said, F. Frito Bang, along with Boulevard Slow, playing on his name, Boulevard Quick. Boulevard Quick returned the diss and held nothing back. Man. Yeah, man. F young boy, mama. NBA young boy's mother would respond making jokes about Boulevard Quick's response while saying sorry he's offended. 
be on like my church, you know, fuck y'all. I wasn't being mean or miss or nothing. And then I saw him on in Instagram, YouTube, whatever, crying yesterday about, oh, his mama put put my name in her mouth and, and, and that's fucked up. And, and, and I swear to God, man, she better keep my name out of her mouth. I'm sorry, boo. I'm sorry I put your, man, your name in your mouth because I saw you crying. She looked like a man. She, she, she ugly. She got man features. I'm sorry, boo. I'm sorry for talking about you because you look like a bow. You got round features, boo. I'm sorry. But what's worse, NBA young boy also caught wind of what Boulevard Quick said about his mother and released an eerie response while on live. But if I ain't tripping. My mama. I, I ain't see that neither, huh? It's a joke, huh? Don't mix my rap life with my, with my music life. November 26th, 2018. Boulevard Quick's life was slowly meeting the end of its rope. Just after midnight, residents at the Lakeside Villa apartment complex on Weldwood Drive off Millerville Road were in their respective apartments when they heard what sounded like a round of shots ringing off. One resident states that she was in bed when she heard about six shots go off. When she looked, she spotted a man running through the corridor and disappearing into the woods. At around 12.30 a.m., police officers arrived and found 25-year-old Ashton Wells, also known as Boulevard Quick, lying in blood with bullet wounds. He passed away at the scene. Boulevard Quick became another casualty that plagued Baton Rouge's gang culture. Fans, friends, family, and music associates would speak highly of the rapper and leave heartfelt sentiments hearing of his passing. Frito Bang would be left to mourn both G-Money and Boulevard Quick. In a song released titled Demons, he confronts his trauma and scars, wishing that Boulevard Quick had listened to the advice he told him. As the city of Baton Rouge and the hip-hop community was coming to grips with the loss of another promising rapper, Boulevard Quick's rivals didn't hold the same type of sympathy. Instead, they earned the title of bragging rights in the ongoing war taking lives from both sides. NBA Youngboy would release the song called Impact, where he rapped the lines, We drill them all when we ride. Thug alibi till I die. By any means, I'm gonna survive. We tote them choppers when we slide. Look, you get caught slipping, then get killed. That's how it's supposed to be, ninja. Spoke on my mama. I ain't wanna talk. I end up drilling a ninja. On a snippet released of a track called Murder Man, NBA young boys heard further alluding to being involved in the hit of who many speculate to be G Money and Boulevard Quick. Authorities would launch an investigation following every bit of evidence to tie together what the motive was behind Boulevard Quick's murder. They had their ears to the ground, combing through speculations and rumors revolving around the feud that had been happening between the rival rappers and gang members. Connecting the dots, they were directed back where they thought it may have all began, the shooting of rapper G-Money. According to police reports, they were aware of the feud allegedly stemming from G-Money sleeping with NBA Youngboy's sister. This became the focal point of their investigation, looking into Boulevard Quick's passing as another casualty due to the beef between the camps. Theories were that Boulevard Quick was murdered due to his direct affiliation with G-Money. What gave even more credibility to the allegations that NBA young boy and his affiliates were responsible for the death of G-Money and Boulevard Quick was the apprehending of NBA affiliate DeAndre Fields, aka Little Pap. The significance of this was that he was arrested on second-degree murder charges for the hit of G-Money. A lot of you are reacting tonight to the arrest of this man, DeAndre Fields, Baton Rouge Police, to they arrested him years after the shooting death of a local rapper, Garrett Burton. Back in 2017, Burton went by the name of G-Money. He was found shot 
backtracking to about a month after G Money was murdered, NBA Youngboy released the album Ain't Too Long, which had the track Poor One. The song reflected on the past and people gone. In it, he rapped the lyrics referencing G Money. Remember smoking with your little brother? Matter of fact, homie, I used to call you my big brother. Then you did some foul sh and stepped with my sister. Then threw it in my face in front of people on Insta. With the feud between NBA Young Boy and G Money, and then NBA's own people being arrested as a suspect in connection with the homicide, the theories of Boulevard Quick being targeted by the NBA camp were becoming more and more feasible. What might have indirectly confirmed it to be true was a Twitter post made by an NBA affiliate with the caption, say, keep all that talking, then bullets gonna be walking through your sh like the last one, punk. We screaming FTBG, tagging Boulevard Quick at the end of the post. The caption was accompanied by a picture of Quick with the words, Boulevard Quick talks down on young boy's mama. To date, no one has been legally tried for the shooting of Boulevard Quick. But the speculations continue to point fingers in the direction of the NBA camp. Whether or not it's true remains to be seen. May the souls of all those lost in this senseless feud motivate to cease fire. This has been the final hours of Boulevard Quick. Join me next time as we walk through the final moments of some of the industry's most tragic deaths. Rest in peace, Boulevard Quick.